All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about two topics. Uh, well, the, I'm, I'm just gonna be touching base on Saudi Omani and his transfer and uh, everything that's just been going on in the media. The other one that I'm gonna be talking about is Pjanic to Real Madrid. So that one I'm gonna be elaborating more on. So let's start with Pjanic to Real Madrid. That, that's, that's the real uh, good stuff. So Pjanic to Real Madrid, it's definitely a possibility. It just seems like over the past four to five days, it's just been growing. Um, he is 28 years old at the moment. He's going to be 29 in about four days or so. So uh, if Pjanic were to buy, I mean, if Real Madrid were to buy Pjanic, this would be just a short-term fix. Uh, it wouldn't be anything long-term as he's 29. I mean, Modric is 33 years old, and we can already see his um, his game kind of dwindling down, which is only normal when you when you play for one of the top teams in the world uh, at that age, and you're playing almost every game. I mean, uh, it's going to have it's going to have its um, how can I say it? It's gonna it's gonna be tough on you after a while. So, uh, Pjanic is he's a deep line midfielder. He's pretty much in charge of controlling the tempo of the game, passing the ball, uh, looking to pass the ball on the width. Um, <clears throat> what what else? What else? What else? Um, you know, we're looking to uh, tackle to recuperate the ball. Um, <clears throat> so he is kind of a I would say it's between a CM and a CDM. Um, it's it's very similar to Tony Cruz. So basically, if we were to buy Miralem Pjanic, then we would have to get, uh, I mean, that would probably mean that Tony Cruz would probably leave because having two players um, kind of similar uh, would just be, um, it would just be very difficult to have at a big club. Um, we have to play both of them, you know, pretty much consistently and we can't do that. So uh, if, obviously, if we buy Pjanic, then Tony Cruz might have to go. Uh, so there are arms, there are legs to this. Um, you know, apparently the, the Chiringuitos cameras have caught Pjanic's agent, which is Fali Ramadini, uh, before a meeting with the Real Madrid board. So there is, uh, you know, something in this that the agent has, has been at Madrid and has met with the Real Madrid board. Um, so it's not just rumors. It seems like it just might happen. So Real Madrid, uh, you know, they, they, they currently held a meeting. And basically with Pjanic, what he wanted was a new improved contract or he just wanted him to uh, just be put for sale in the market. And, you know, the latter could prove to be right. Um, he did renew his contract last summer, though. He currently has a contract with Juventus until 23, 23. So we will have to buy him for a hefty fee. And that fee, it's estimated to be 80 to 100 million for his services, uh, which is fairly good price in today's market. He is a 29 year old. Um, you know, 80 to 100 million. It is a little bit on the expensive side, but uh, in today's market, I think that's perfectly fine, especially if we get, I would say, four years in him. 100 million, you're looking at 25 million for each year. Um, it is quite a hefty fee, but you know what? Real, this is Real Madrid. We have the money, and uh, we, we need to do whatever it takes to get back to the top. So, like I said, if if we were to buy uh, Marilyn Pjanic, then we'd have to sell Tony Cruz, I think, in my opinion. Um, it, It'd be very hard to keep both of them in, on the. Um, it'd be hard to have both of them in the starting lineup. They're both just very similar players, you know. To have Casemiro, Pjanic, and Cruz in the lineup, I don't think it would work out so well. Um, what I think we we would need to do is, um, I think if we want to improve our midfield, you know, by a long way, I think what we need to do is get a box to box midfielder. Uh, I think Modric is a good um, good player, however. Uh, like I said, with his age and with his with the dwindling down of his game, which is only normal, uh, I think we just need to get another box box midfielder, uh, which I said before, Angelo Conte is a very good option. Uh, I think another good option, which a lot of people are probably not talking about, is uh, Andrew Herrera from Manchester United. So Andrew Herrera would be a fantastic option. Apparently, he's only got three months left on his contract. Um, you know, he is not he's not a Galactico signing, but if you guys do watch his stuff for Manchester United, you'll see that he's a very good player. He's very much box to box. He's exactly what we need at Real Madrid. You know, this is the kind of midfielder that we would need. Um, that's highly, I would say that's more needed than a Miralem Pjanic. Uh, however, to if Tony Cruz does decide to go, then then obviously we would need a Miralem Pjanic. But um, I think more than anything, we do need a box to box midfielder. And that's where Angelo Conte and Ander Herrera could come in as potential um, options for, for Real Madrid. And I think that's the kind of player we just need to go for. So let's move on with Sadio Mane. I'm not going to talk too much about this. Just 
a brief brush up on, on what's going on with him. So yeah, he's I mean he's he's been in good form. He's he's got twenty goals and four assists his name this season. I mean in the in the Premier League he's only one behind Aguero. He's he's a very good player. Um, he's electric. He's fast. Um, I think it's it's hard to say whether I think he would be a good signing for Real Madrid. Um, because he only has come good starting this season. We have seen potential, or we have seen glimpses of his talent beforehand, but I think this season is the season where he's really solidified his, um, you know, his kind of skills and his assets and what he's able to contribute to the team. And obviously 20 goals and 4 assists is a very good season for him. Um, but like I said, is it just one season, or is he going to do this consistently? Um, we have seen him, you know, show glimpses glimpses of that potential but um until this season we haven't really seen it so um it's hard to say it's hard to say um i think for sadio mane to play on that right hand side would solve a lot of problems and i think sadio mane would come at a uh, cheaper price than a lot of um players out there uh, i.e mbappe i.e neymar so i think mane would would be a very good option i think we could buy him you know especially for a short-term solution i think it would be um, something that, that we could do, something that would be beneficial to the team. So um, that's pretty much all I want to say about Sani Omane. I just want to say that it would be um, a good buy for the team, and I think we can get him for cheap. Um, and I think he could improve at Real Madrid. I think he could improve us. I just don't know if he could improve us um, by so much, but what, by exactly how much we're looking to improve on. So... Um, I, I just think we need someone else on the right. I, you know, I, I like Sadio Mane. I think he's a good player, but I, I would like to see someone else on the right. Um, maybe that, I don't know, maybe that fits us more. Um, I don't know. I, I think Sadio, like I said, I think Sadio Mane is a good player, but um, I'd like to see someone else on the right. So that's all I have for you guys today, really just that, um, just to talk about those two topics. And um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thanks for watching. I'll be putting out more videos pretty much consistently, hopefully. Um, since, you know, international break is over. When, when international break is, is on, I, I don't really like to talk, or I don't really like to come out with too much video, too many videos, uh, since it can get redundant and boring. Uh, the news can get kind of redundant. So, um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.